Hello everyone. Today, let's discuss how medical reference apps can best be utilized by healthcare professionals such as ourselves. As clinicians, uh, we're constantly increasing our use of tablets and smartphones as it allows us and our practice to actually move faster and to be more mobile. At least 80% of physicians in the United States use some sort of medical reference apps on their mobile device. I mean, really, how many of you notice more iPads uh, around kind of clinics, hospitals, um, and with the transition to EMR, this is only going to increase. So, what are the best apps currently in medical reference? Well, a few of my favorites. Hippocrates uh, is amazing, free app, drug reference app, includes everything from dose calculations um, and whatnot. It's amazing. Uh, Micromedics is another one of my favorite. Have you doing with uh, drug interactions? I think that's the the pharmacist in me that has kind of converted over to anesthesiologist. Uh, Patient Keeper has gotten a lot of momentum in lab testing and online physician ordering. Uh, Medicode is the free app developed by us at NHCPS that allows you to go through the ACLS PALS BLS algorithm. Uh, so when you find yourself in those emergency situations, you're not fumbling through your pocket trying to figure out kind of like where your uh, ACLS guidelines card is or worse yet if you don't have it. It's all available on an app, it's amazing. Um, there are multiple apps that are kind of out there to assist with the prescribing, point of care uh, charting, uh, which allows patients access to their chart on their mobile device. Uh, the winner on that is uh, still yet to be discussed, but uh, uh, amazing amount of emphasis on that and only great things will be kind of happening from that, very exciting. So overall, physicians have reported that using medical reference apps uh, save them an average of 20 minutes or more every day and uh, allows them to provide better health care to their patients. So uh, please enjoy these apps and thank you again for saving lives.